Now, as you can see, this one, this gib right here broke off in a, uh, it, it kind of, it undercutted that. But that right there is the end of it. That's how much was sticking out, about three quarters of an inch. And so I have very, very little, not enough to weld it onto there. So I'm going to, this is the longer side over here. So I am going to weld it. I, I don't anticipate having success with this one. But, uh, but I am going to give it a try. And, and what I'll do is I'll weld it as good as I can right on that one side right there. But I think it's a fugal attempt. But we're going to do it anyway. We'll let that cool just a second. Maybe, uh, maybe even a. Give it all possibilities for success. And then the same procedure, except. This one over here, uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll be all right. And as I anticipated, no success. Okay, now, now, and kind of, uh, well, now see, in that instance right there, the weld, the weld actually did shear. So, um, well, being that that didn't move and it was the weld, it's actually the distance I thinking maybe uh, might have to rethink that right there yeah let's rethink that uh, quarter inch by two flat plate uh, about two and a half inches long and I took the grinder and cut a slot in there it already had the hole in there just a scrap piece and it, it will it go right there the intentions is to weld weld that solid right there, trying to catch that keyway, what's left of it. And then I will weld a little block right here and then use a drift punch to see can I set it free. Let's weld that.
sometimes just the the mere fact of welding on that keyway, the heat sometimes will is just enough to set it free. Okay, that's a piece of some sort of key stock. Let's weld that on there. Okay, now let's see, can we knock that piece of key stock off of there? We'll let it cool just a little bit. You get a bigger hammer also. Let's kind of hit it lightly with the bigger hammer just to see what it feels like. Now, after after that keyway came out that four, that last that last still hot. The uh, the the last time I hit it there was on a downward motion, and it did break it off. But as you can see, we got that keyway. We got that keyway out there where we can work with it now. Pass, get that little hammer. I hear the police in the neighborhood. Must be a criminal on the loose. Aha. Uh -huh. And we got it. And, 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 uh, yeah, actually, I've, I've just been a very, very, very short amount of time here. Let's get something. When, it, when it's all said and done, just been a very, 
very short amount of time, but you can see the back side of this, and again, it was not the weld that failed, it was the metal, this gib key, actually you can see the metal pulled away, not the weld, and it did hold completely to the end there until it was a, a downward motion. So, you know, there, there's more than, the point is, there's, there's more than one way to get a gib key out. So, as you can see, we got it out. It did break at the last, but there was no reason for it not to. So, we do have another gib key out. The, uh, the other side is still fast. Let's just... Uh, And this one here, it's still fast on, on the, uh, put us a, let's put us a hammer in there and where we can stop that crankshaft. Oh yeah. The, the, them flywheels is really on there tight. The, uh, we did get the gib keys out of both sides, is, 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 that was the project for today. Now, I'll put it. I probably it probably won't be on the video. This is this is more or less gib keys. The um, and what I will do is pull a puller on here and just pull these off now. As simple as as can be. And I've done it before. If you're interested in that, just go back a few videos and 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 there's maybe two or three that that I did that. But this is just another way to remove a gib key.